and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And a while ago, I created a video on how to get out of a funk. Today, we're gonna switch that up a little and we're gonna talk about how to accept and live with the funk. Not mean? Know what I mean? Let's get right into it. So, the last few weeks, I have been in a major funk. Like, I have not felt like myself. I have not been happy. If anything, I've been very impatient and kind of like angry in a way. It's very weird. It's not like my natural set point. So I've just been feeling so off and the fact that I feel off makes me feel more off and then it kind of just like accumulates and snowballs and I now feel out of this funk and this is actually why I didn't post a video last week because I didn't freaking want to. I was like, I'm not making a video. I'm not, I can't act happy. Like it's funny because I'm an actress and when I'm reading lines or filming or going over a script, it's fine. But in like my real authentic self, I can't fake it. I didn't want to film a video. I was not in the mood to do it. And I was just like, I'm not doing it. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. There are definitely ways to get out of a funk, but then sometimes you can be so far into it like I was that that's not always possible to just snap out of it and get out of it and, you know, go on a nature walk and then poof, you know, I feel fine, I'm so happy again. It's not realistic. One, I think that's a huge misconception as far as like people that seem genuinely happy or positive the majority of the time. Like, um, I feel like myself, you know, I, I am. I feel that for a majority of the time, I'm pretty freaking happy, but it's not all the time and I want to talk about it. I want to dive deep into it and, and share with you guys what you can do if you can't get out of a funk, if you just kind of need to live in it for a little bit, whether it's a few hours or a few days or a few weeks and hopefully not a few months, but even so. The first thing I want to talk about is the realization and acceptance that you are kind of off kilter, out of alignment, going through a funk, just really not feeling optimal, not feeling your best, not feeling happy compared to how you usually feel or usually are flowing through life. And I think the biggest part is, you know, once you do find that acceptance and you realize, oh, hey, I'm out of alignment, I'm in, I'm in a weird spot right now, then it becomes easier to go through it. You know, I identified like, yeah, I'm not feeling great right now, so, what do I do? Give yourself some freaking grace. <laughs> Give yourself some breathing room and just understand that you felt like this before, you're going to feel like this again in the future. And the number one thing is to remember, like it's not going to last forever. And I think what could be helpful if you're watching this video and feeling this way is start to kind of track why you're feeling that way or when you're feeling that way and for how long it lasts because there could be a pattern there that you're not catching. And if you start to kind of log those emotions, the days, the feelings, so then basically you can go back and you can log all this stuff and then you can kind of trace it back to like what triggered you to feel that way and why you feel that way and and kind of see the pattern going on how long does this usually last what does it take for you to typically get out of the funk because then next time when you're going through it you can kind of look back and know okay this is only going to last a few days this is only going to last a week i can make it through it and just come to that understanding that this is not your life like sometimes <laughs> if I'm feeling really off like that, I'm like, is this really what my life is like now? And it's like, Sarah, that's so dramatic. Like, no, you're not gonna feel this way forever. No, it's not gonna stay this way and it will, you know, move forward. You will feel like yourself again. But like, 
allow yourself to feel those things. And another thing is, is what's going to make you feel better even if it's in that moment? Now, I am all for working towards long-term goals and planting seeds for you to get the fruit later, but we're talking in this moment when you are just feeling like, screw this, screw everyone, and you just have to live in, in that state for a little while. When I'm feeling this way, I do not want to do anything. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to film YouTube. I don't want to post content on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I don't want to work. I literally don't want to do anything. And for me, uh, this past time, and I hope it's over, I hope it's Today is not like a glitch in the system, but I mean, I would say it was like a solid month plus. You just have to give yourself some grace and do what you wanna do in that moment that's going to make you feel better because the more that you do that, the more you'll slowly start to climb out of the state of emotions that you're in. Something that I really like to do besides sit around and watch movies and watch TV is read. I really enjoy reading when I'm going through stuff like this or even watching YouTube videos, which I do all that anyway, but sometimes I'll change what I'm reading. For example, I've been reading Think and Grow Rich again, and I, I freaking feel like reading that the last few weeks. So I was reading another book and I was also reading the Bible a bit. Just like listen to what your inner self and your your energy is trying to tell you to do. And I'll tell you what, I'm certainly 100% an emotional eater. Like when I'm feeling down, get me McDonald's, get me candy, get me whatever thing is unhealthy for you because I wanna eat it. For the most part, I have a lot of control when it comes to my diet and what I'm consuming. But when I'm feeling this way, as long as I don't have something crazy coming up that I need to be lean for, I just let myself eat it. Like, who freaking cares? You know what I mean? However, if you're going to allow yourself to eat those things or whatever your choice is, if you wanna have a glass of wine or something like that and you're gonna beat yourself up after it, then don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth making yourself feel even worse for, but if you know that you can go get a, a burger or two double burgers with cheese only and a large fry from McDonald's and not beat yourself up about it, then go for it. <laughs> Learn how to say no. I think that's something that people need to do in general, but especially when you're not feeling yourself and you don't, you know, you're not feeling up to it, don't feel like you are obligated to go, you know, spend time with friends or coworkers or this or that. You don't owe anyone anything. And if you are feeling like you just wanna be alone, you just wanna be to yourself, you don't wanna hang out with anyone, say no. For example, I was going through this over the weekend, you know, about a week ago, about a week ago, <laughs> and my roommates were going bowling. Normally, for the most part, I'd be down to do that. I love bowling, I love going out, I love spending time with my roommates. I didn't want to. I'd had a headache for three days. I had just gotten rid of it. It was late and I just wanted to lay down in bed and watch a movie. And that was fine. And you know what? Would I have had a good time if I went? Maybe. Could it have been a better thing for me to do in that moment? Maybe. But I listened to what I want to do and that's what I did. And I laid in bed and I hung up by myself and my cat and I ate some snacks and I was fine with that. So don't be forcing yourself to do things that you don't want to do, especially when you're just not feeling up for it and you're not feeling yourself. It's okay to go through these negative states and have these negative emotions and be feeling this way because we're human. Hello? And we're all gonna go through it. Even people that you see on social media that you think are so happy all the time, they're not. <laughs> 
Like, it's just not possible. We're not created to be that way. And the thing is, is if you continue to push down these negative emotions and tumble over them and say, oh, no, 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 that's not me. I'm not feeling that way because I did that for so long. You're pushing that negativity deeper into your being, deeper into your body. And it's gonna make it worse for you. It's going to create mental health issues. It's going to create physical health issues. It's going to F up your whole freaking day. <laughs> it's just a part of the human experience. If you even feel like you need to get away for a few days, which trust me, was definitely something I wanted to do and I actually got to do for a few days, do it. Like go rent somewhere cheap, go get a cheap hotel room, a motel room, you know, what's that, Red Roof Inn, Motel 6, I mean, shit. <laughs> go get away, bring some books with you, bring some music, bring a journal, bring snacks, bring like literally whatever you wanna do and just remove yourself from your current environment. And that might be the only shakeup that you really need to get yourself kind of out of it. Now, for me, when I was able to kind of get out of my environment, it did change my state of emotions and my, my unhappiness in the moment for those few days. And then I got back to real life, back to my house where I live, and I was like, oh, I still hate people. <laughs> Which I don't, I'm not that kind of person, but I'll forget to admit to you guys that when I go through stuff like this, like I do feel that way. I was at the grocery store the one day, nothing happened, it wasn't overly crowded, nothing was wrong i got all my groceries and all of a sudden i got this like tension in me and i was like i need to get out of here right now i cannot be around these people anymore so i paid and i left and that's what i needed in the moment so my whole point is here guys is we all go through this and you need to just understand that it's okay do not beat yourself up about it. Allow yourself to feel the emotions. Recognize that this is not going to last forever. It's happened in the past and you got past it. It's going to happen in the future and you'll get past it. And while it's happening now, guess what? You'll get past it. <laughs> I promise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. It's going to be okay. You'll get past this. If you have anything that you really love to do when you're feeling in these funks and you're not really feeling yourself, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. I will see you next time. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.